Recently, many of my foreigner friends kept asking me a common question: What's the meaning of the three letters in your show? GBA, known to many of our age as one of the best portable gaming gadgets, now stands for a grand project: the Greater Bay Area, or the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau Greater Bay Area. The National Development Blueprint, officially announced in 2017. Aims to integrate 11 cities in Southern China's Pearl River Delta into a combined economic, business, and technology powerhouse for China and the world. The 56,500 square kilometer area covers four iconic Chinese cities, including Hong Kong, Shenzhen, Macau, Guangzhou, and the neighboring Zhuhai, Foshan, Zhongshan, Dongguan, Huizhou, Jiangmen, and Zhaoqing. According to the latest data collected by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council, the GBA has a combined GDP of nearly two trillion U.S. dollars in 2021, with a total population of 87 million. GDP-wise, GBA is slightly lower than that of the Tokyo Bay Area, but bigger than the 1.8 trillion U.S. dollars of New York Metro Area and the 1 trillion U.S. dollars of the San Francisco Bay Area. In terms of population, the GBA is no doubt the dominator, compared with Tokyo Bay Area's 44 million, New York Metro Area's 20 million, and San Francisco Bay Area's 8 million. That creates a vast consumer market and unprecedented opportunities. But sheer volume is never the full story. The real strength of the GBA lies in the complementary features of the cities, according to the blueprint. Hong Kong will serve as the financial hub of the area. As one of the leading international financial centers, the city is able to address all the needs in the region for investments and fundraising, and help Chinese firms to go overseas and connect to the world. It can also expand the nation's offshore Renminbi project. The Pearl of the Orient has also been designated as the area's logistics center. For its long-standing advantages in global trade, in 2021, the Hong Kong International Airport handled 5 million metric tons of air cargo, leading the ranking of the world's busiest air cargo airport. Port throughput also reached 214 million tons in the same year, ranking ninth internationally. Moreover, the city's world-renowned common law system is trusted by the global business community. Which also makes it an ideal center for international arbitration. Shenzhen is the technology and innovation center of the GBA. The city is headquarters to many world-leading technology giants, including Tencent, Huawei, DJI, BYD, and BGI. Grown from a small fishing village to one of the most advanced metropolises in the Chinese mainland. The city provides innovative and business-friendly policies to companies and R&D institutions to lure investments and talents to the high-tech industries. Guangzhou will be the area's transport hub, a meeting point of South China's railway systems. The city is now expanding its airport to accommodate more international flights. In 2019, the airport handled 73 million travelers. Surpassing Hong Kong to become the 11th busiest for passenger traffic in the world, it aims to carry 120 million passengers annually by 2030. Being the center of the Canton cultures, Guangzhou will no doubt be the cultural hub of the GBA, which will promote the area's unique features to the rest of the country and the world. Macau, under the plan, will be the entertainment center of the GBA. The Las Vegas of Asia will expand its gaming and show business by more in-depth integration into the area. Imagine how much synergy will be created for the United States if New York, Silicon Valley, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas can coexist in one area. That is exactly what is happening in the GBA with the four core cities bonding together, with the support of the other seven cities. That leaves unlimited imagination to the world. What's more, the GBA is not just 11 separate cities, but an area with advanced connectivity. Over the year, a number of infrastructure projects have been completed, 
including Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Hong Kong Express Rail Link, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, and the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge, which also connects the two sides of the Pearl River estuary. The links will create a series of one-hour living circles within the GBA. Admittedly, great opportunities come with great challenges. First, the central government must address incompatibility among the three systems, three custom territories, and three currencies under one country. This is an unprecedented trial in human history. How to make the different systems get along well is the most decisive factor for a successful GBA. Secondly, a healthy competition will boost the overall development. However, an excessive competition will create overlapping projects, which will lead to squandering of resources. Therefore, how to guarantee complementary development is the key. Last but not least, the COVID pandemic has paralyzed the connectivity within the GBA for now, which slowed down the progress of the planned integration. Hopefully, the pandemic can be end soon and the GBA can resume its free flow of talents, technologies, capital, and logistics. But one thing is for sure, the best for the GBA is yet to come. Let's look forward to the future where the collaboration among the cities finally makes the GBA dream come true.